Hello, my name is Herman Kelly. I live in County Louth and I am absolutely livid about a case that I just heard about in the last few days. A man of 21, Roman Kroc, you call him. He is a Slovakian Roma and he lived in uh, Derby and there in 2019, Mr. Roman Kroc was convicted of the attempted rape of a 14-year-old girl. He tried to rape her three times in broad daylight. He does also have a history of sexual assault even when he was 12 years of age and also a lifetime of petty theft. But what happened to Mr. Croc? He was put on the sex offenders register in the UK. He was given four and a half years jail but anyway, he was allowed out after two and a half years. And where did Mr. Croc come to? Guess. Yes, he came to Ireland, the soft touch of Europe. With Justice Minister Helen McEntee providing a safe refuge for any criminal who wants to come and stay in Ireland. Mr. Roman Croc who has the same cultural origins as the, the suspect in the case of Aisling Murphy. The suspect now, is innocent until proven guilty, but he was also a um, Slovakian Roma. And there we have the case there recently of the double murder in Sligo, which has suddenly been forgotten. We have a huge problem in Ireland about imported criminality imported crime into ireland is a growing problem we are a soft touch and there's a few basic questions few, few basic facts that you need to know so mr uh, roman croc who is in the sex offenders register in the uk there were talk ab about him being deported well he moved himself to ireland dublin first and now he lives in Dunlear in County Louth. He lives in a free social house with his mother. I would suspect he's on some type of welfare. Uh, Mr. Croc was also, there has been a, a rash of burglaries around the Dunlear area. But a five mile radius, radius around Dunlear, there has been about 40 uh, breaking and entries in the last four months. Uh, we don't know, was there a causal relationship between uh, this man coming to, to Dunlear and a sharp increase in crime? But we do know, because it was reported in the Midlouth Independent there on the 29th of April, that uh, Mr. Roman Croc was caught a mid-burglary in a shop uh, in Midlouth. He was caught and it was his name was reported in the in the paper also by the pictures that were in the uh, Derby newspaper in the UK when he was convicted of attempted rape the photographs of him and on his Facebook and people have seen him around the street are obviously the same guy with the same name and yes it is true it is clear that a convicted rapist is from Britain is now living in Dunlear, he's in a free house, he's on welfare, and he he is now being charged with a burglary of a shop in Midlouth and to which he got free legal aid. Irish people must be the idiots of the world. There are a few basic questions that I believe need to be answered by the Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee. I call these people who come in, these criminals, Helen's felons. Why was a convicted rapist allowed to walk into Ireland without any checks whatsoever? Why was a convicted rapist allowed access and given what amounts to a free home in County Louth when there are over 9,000 homeless people in Ireland? I want to know why was he in the country? Why was he given a free house? And when he was arrested uh, and charged with burglary, 
why is this guy given free legal aid? Irish people, we are being taken for a ride. Our country is being destroyed. Our homes, our places of work, our families are less safe and less secure. Helen McEntee's job is to bolster our safety and security, not destroy it. So the Irish Freedom Party, our policy is that all immigration, any person that may wish to come to Ireland, uh, that the immigration must be controlled. All people entering Ireland must be vetted and they must give something positive to Ireland and they must have skills that Ireland needs. So we need controlled immigration and vetted immigration, not a free for all for tourists, terrorists and criminals alike. So my name is Herman Kelly. In the local elections and in election time, I would ask you to give our nationalist party a vote that we can protect uh, and make Ireland a safer, more secure place and not ram our country full of Helen's felons. Goro Margotza, Slanis Ballot.